Ladies and gentlemen, the future of note-taking is finally here and his name is Screentel. Screentel is an awesome app that finally brings us what we need. The combination of mind mapping tools with Infinity Canvas, being able to visually arrange ideas while leveraging the power of links and backlinks which other apps like Obsidian and Loxic, Remnote, Rome Research, you know, if you want to sound smarter, tools for thought or network thought that leverage these ideas of connecting thoughts with one another, right? Screentel has that and it works beautifully. But on top of that, you have the visual aspect of a mind map. Hey, quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Screentel. So of course I'm a bit biased. Just know that I made sure to keep the freedom to share my real opinions. And beyond that, super grateful to be sponsored by an app I really like, and I'm sure you'll love it too. So back to the video. Now, the reason why I think this app really appealed to me is because when I first got started in this whole world of settle casting, which of course, if you're a nerd like me, you know what that is. If not, let me know in the comments, I can make another video about it. The whole idea by Nicholas Zuman with index cards, being able to have a very concrete thought and then being able to connect that to others. Now, my origin into this whole world of note taking actually started in paper. The moment I discovered settle casting, I was like, yes, paper is the way to go. I even created my whole system, I had a box with index cards and I love the idea of being able to visually put them in a desk, reorganize them. Of course, later on, I realized paper has a lot of cons that I wasn't willing to put up with long term. I had to move countries, so I had to get rid of a bit of paper and I just digitalized everything and I said, okay, now I'm going to go digital in this approach. But since then, even though I've discovered amazing apps that I use all the time, like Obsidian, I still really miss the feeling of being able to move paper around, to put it in a desk or in the floor if you're crazy and start moving ideas around to see what type of connections you create, right? And until Screentel, I haven't found another app that does it this way, right? So that's what I love about Screentel. You have an idea with a topic, you can link to other notes, and from there, you can visually rearrange them the way you want them to. So it really is all the pros of paper, at least in my opinion, without the disadvantages. First with Screentel, I thought it would be like paper, like now you have to clear this desk or canvas and now you have to put all the paper away in the case of paper back in drawers or in boxes and I thought a screen tilt would have to be the same experience like you clear it all out and now you need to rearrange them manually but it's not like that there's a huge advantage which is equivalent of having a lot of desks where you can just arrange all types of papers all types of notes use the same note across different desks and just rearrange those ideas in different ways and always have that laid out in the way you want it to so that that way if you have project one you can come back to it and know that everything's arranged the way you want it then you can go back to project two and so on and that's what boards in screen tell are like you have different projects different topics and you can just come back to them and see the visual layout that you had for your ideas ready for you to create more connections ready for you to write more that's incredible i've had a lot of people actually reaching out to me being like hey these apps are cool but i just nothing replaces the feeling of paper being able to organize things the way i want them to be able to put it all in a desk move it around that's what a screen tilt does. And on top of that, you have a lot of the benefits of having a digital app instead of paper. And that is things such as searchability. You know, the searchability in a screen tilt is great. You can just search any of the nodes that you have, being able to find exactly what you're looking for and then drag it into the canvas where you can just create new connections, expand on it, write more and knowing that you're going to be able to find it later. I think searchability is a key feature for any good app and Screentel definitely pulls that off. On top of that, we also have tags and tags are great because you can select a certain number of cards in your desk and you can actually tag them as something. And now that tag is already something you can search on. And when you search that tag, all the cards relevant to the tag are going to pop up and you can just drag them into the desk. And that's a really handy way to just be able to pull the information that you want and to even be able to reorganize it quickly by bulk tagging things. And that is just beautiful. All right, now graph view. I want to talk about the graph view because right now Screentel doesn't have one. I've heard people talking about it in the Screentel community and it seems like that is something in the future of Screentel, but right now I think it's already incredible. Like the visual way, the way that you visualize Screentel is already way better than graph views in other apps, in my opinion, because people have asked me quite a lot, especially for Obsidian, hey, what is the use of a graph view? Is it really useful? And I always say, personally, I think it's more of an aesthetic thing. I don't find it that useful. Like, it's really cool to see it. And it's great to have a visual representation of all the links that are going on. But I don't spend my time in graph view in any app. That is mostly because for me, like, what would make graph view incredible would be to actually see the contents of the note, to be able to read the title, see what's in it. And a screen tell is basically that. It's like a huge graph view where you can see all these cards being laid out in different ways with all the description, all the title 
being able to read it right there and even being able to expand it go bigger on that and being able to move things around it's just so cool which takes me actually to navigation and writing experience in screen tell you can make any of these cards pop up and you can move them around you can write on them and you can even see where they fit within the picture of the other notes within the context on top of that you can also expand things so that you can have this better split view for whenever you just want to quickly navigate different links because a lot of times having a lot of pop-ups open can be annoying so this is like the remedy for that however i just love popping all of those cards up and just, just seeing which ones i need and then close the ones that i don't it's just really up to you it's a very flexible app so if you couldn't tell already i love a screen tell however there's a couple of things that i'm looking forward to things that i really hope happen in screen tell to make it a better app personally for me for my personal taste and one of them is dark mode i'm almost annoying because whatever app i use i just go to their community and i say i need dark mode i need dark mode i need dark mode. <laughs> but i really need dark mode in screen tell thankfully they have an awesome community and they've been really responsive about my feature requests other people's feature requests so i'm really hoping dark mode comes sooner rather than later but yeah i think it's gonna happen so that's good <laughs> the other big thing that i really hope screen tell pulls off great is the exporting functionality i've talked to some of the creators and this is coming for sure They're there's already a couple of exporting functionalities to PDF and Markdown. However, of course, it'd be incredible to be able to bulk export certain things, being able to move that to other apps, be able to open that in Obsidian, ideally even be able to navigate the same links. So I really hope they pull that off because that would be incredible. I personally love the way Obsidian deals with files locally. However, there's also another side to that. Some people just can't be bothered with having all your local files in plain text. There's definitely benefits to having cloud storage. Even though it's not my personal preference, I think it really has some really nice upsides. The fact that you can use it across different devices without worrying too much. The upcoming mobile apps that are coming for screen tell are going to be incredible and that's going to be such a great benefit of having your notes in the cloud. Personally, again, I really want the export functionality to be great so that I can back up my notes a bit better in Obsidian. But again, that's a bit of personal preference. But for a new app that's still in beta, it's incredible. Honestly, if this is what it looks like right now, can't wait to see what they do in the future. So I'm really excited for the future of Screentail. And I'm super thankful to the team at Screentail for this awesome collaboration. Honestly, easiest sponsorship ever. Because this app is just incredible and it tells itself. And actually, right now, as of recording this, you can access Screentail for free, which is great. Pretty much all they ask in exchange is kind of like a bit of your feedback. So they do have a bit of a form, which will give you access to Screentail. Again, like I said, right now, they're not charging for it. By the time you're watching this, that might have changed. I'm honestly not sure about the future of that. So for a lot of these updates and this kind of stuff, I highly recommend you join their communities and awesome place. You can also see the development, the announcements and the future requests. You can request your own kind of stuff. I love how much they're really basing their business decisions and the wrap on our feedback. So definitely take advantage of that. Help build this app into something even better. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about the screen tell. I'm more than happy to make more videos about it. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye. See ya.